The Bucks don't need Julio Jones or Odell Beckham Jr. because of this man right here. Today we're talking about Russell Gage. Let's meet the boys on the boat parade. You know you can look me in the eye. It's all because of Jesus. He the reason I'm alive. I live by faith, by grace. You know that I ain't got to strive. They told me, tone it down. Yo, hey. yo, 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 will you let me do my <laughs> yo's at the beginning? Jeez. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Boat Parade where we talk all things Tampa Bay sports. Today we're talking a little bit of Bucks football and uh, in the offseason doing our famous super loved series. I think we're on number five. Probably more than that, but we're talking Meet about the boys free agent edition today we're talking free about agent edition russell gage Sheesh. so russell gage he is from baton rouge louisiana is he engaged i can't answer that question i mean you there's a, it's like a narrow window it's like you're only engaged for like a year so probably not he's probably he's probably not okay probably anyways not. he's from baton rouge louisiana he was Woo! a three-star recruit coming out of high school and he went stayed at home in his hometown and played at lsu <laughs> where sorry i love lsu you don't. I do. You don't. I do. Okay. <laughs> it's such a beautiful campus, you know, and you've how many I'm not even going to get into. It. We're talking about Russell Gage. Stay on track. My man's Ryan. my man's big Anyways, rush from the Lusu. He originally played defensive back. And then when coach O took over his junior year, he switched over to wide receiver. He was like, "Yo, you're not that good on defense. Let's move you over to offense." So they did that and he actually was very good. <laughs> Um, so he's got hands. He flourished as a versatile offensive threat, threat, not fret. Don't fret. And, um, <laughs> even so much so that he was such a good leader on the team that he was voted as a permanent team captain going into the 2017 season. So that's kind of his backstory. Um, then he, wow. was, he was drafted by the Atlanta Falcons in the 2018 NFL draft. I didn't know he was that young. You know, when the Bucks signed Russell Gage, in my mind, he was older than what he is. That's what I'm saying. Like he seems like kind of more of a vet, like leader type guy. Like when you when you feel him out, but he's still young. Yeah, this will be his fifth season in the NFL. The dude, dude, young. Exactly. So drafted in the sixth round, 194th overall. So like low, but then made the team over the past four seasons. His like four season stats aren't aren't awesome, but then we're gonna talk to it in the about it and the reason why. So over four seasons, he has over 200 receptions, just under, or Which sorry, bad. almost 200 receptions for just over 2,000 yards. I got it twisted in my mind. It's it's not bad reception. It's it's not a bunch of yardage, but when you look at it over four seasons as his career totals, it's not a lot. But then we're gonna get into the reason why. Last year is when he really started to ramp up. So in 20, 2021. He led the Falcons receiving in all categories. Catches with 66, Sheesh. yards 770, and four touchdowns. But the end of the season is when he really turned it on, really starting in week 13 versus the Bucks. He really lit us up in that game. <laughs> um, he had over 500 receiving yards in the last part of that season, those last five, six weeks of the wow. season, which was seventh in the NFL during that time period. Listen wow. to what he did versus the Bucks in week 13. Um he had career highs in receptions with 11 and career high in yards at 130. They said, yo, that guy right there, sign him. That's exactly what they did. They said, hey, we're going to go after this guy in the offseason if we need to. And they and they, and they they got him. Got him. Got him for a good price. Got I, him on lock. I think 10 mil a year or something like that. I, was, um, I forget that like because we've been talking about hockey so much and the caps with hockey, when you said 10 mil a year, I was like, oh, my gosh. You're like, oh, my gosh. That's the most expensive we're bankrupt. player. <laughs> I was like, yeah, how is Stu going to afford that? I'm just no, kidding. The, the cap in, in football is oh, like high. In, it like, is, In right? the 200 millions. Yeah, it's yeah, high. yeah. yeah um, what, a, what a steal. So very good. Because you, you're then, catching him. He's on fire. Like It's like he just got lit on fire. So he spent a bunch of like growing time in Atlanta, and then he sprouts, and he's like, and then boom, get him on the Bucks for a decent price, ready to run to the bowl, baby. Exactly. So I'm very excited that we get to piss off Atlanta Falcons fans. Yeah, you suck. That's harsh, but I agree. But Gus's chicken in Atlanta is fire. Okay. So it's like it's <laughs> like it will be even, because. So the, the Falcons know, and the good, Falcons suck, good chicken. but then the chicken is rocking. The Blue Ridge Mountains. I mean, it's like, you know, you're getting there. 
I follow you. Um, but I'm excited about it. When you have Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Russell Gage as your, th- as your three, and they still have a substantial amount of more depth behind them. They still got Scotty Miller. They still got Brashad Perriman. They got Grayson. Yeah, oh, yeah. They have ca- a, an, an insane amount of depth. And that's why I said at the beginning of the video, you know, they don't need to look after Odell or after – after right, Julio Jones, right. like everybody is saying, because every people need to show every up, two days, man. people are like oh, it would be so good if we could get Odell or Julio Jones for on what forty million. First of all, know? they're going to be incredibly expensive. Julio Jones, he's a freak of nature, but his body's held together by dental floss, gets hurt every year. <laughs> Odell Beckham, like he Odell Beckham's gotten way better maturity wise, but like we've talked about many times. Yeah, I'm not you have a, to have a solid locker room is a huge part to be successful. And almost everywhere he goes, he has that almost like a Kardashian sense drama to him. And we don't need that on the bus. It's that Floyd Mayweather thing that try to come on people when they make more than 20 mil a year. And I'm not a fan. We need the humble team leadership. Russell Gage. We love Russell Gage. We engage the gauge. And apparently Ryan thinks he's engaged. Um, give us your comments about <laughs> Russell Gage and, and what you think about him in comparison to somebody like Julio. Yeah, stop stop even – look, this dude's about to light it up in this season, and for what we got him for, these other dudes, psh, get them out of here. Russell Gage is getting hot. We'll see this coming up season. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what you think about Russell Gage, and we'll see you next time on the boat parade. Feels like an airplane on the You know you can look me in the eye. It's all because of Jesus. He the reason I'm alive. I live by faith, by grace. You know that I ain't gotta strive. They told me, told me.